Welcome back to the King Films Bracketology update and let's get into it. Today we will be breaking down the bubble and the top seeds currently in college basketball. So let's get started with the West region where we've got number one overall seed Gonzaga. Then we've got number eight overall seed Villanova has a chance in the final to improve their seed against Creighton. They grabbed a great win over UConn but in terms of them moving up, I could see them in a different region, but they're probably just locked on this two line, probably don't have much of a room to move up here. Then Texas Tech, the nine overall seed, could probably jump up to the two line if they are able to beat Kansas in that Big 12 final. They might jump either Tennessee or Auburn. We will have to see. And then finally, Arkansas, the number 16 overall seed, will have their chance in the SEC tournament going forward, let's go on to the South region. Arizona has probably clinched that number two overall seed given Baylor's loss. And then we've got Tennessee, who's another solid team out of the SEC. They will continue fighting for that title as well. Then we've got Duke, who is in the ACC championship. They will face Virginia Tech for bid to the tournament. I don't think Duke can move up to the two line, but we'll have to see there the second best three seeds so if there is chaos above them which some of these teams will lose in their conference championships we'll see if duke is able to move up it does hurt them that they're not able to beat a ranked unc team but we'll see what happens and then wisconsin suffered the horrible loss they dropped down to a four seed in my bracketology then the number three overall seed baylor in the midwest is the one seed there despite their loss and then Auburn, who also lost in their conference tournament, would be the two seed there. Then a dangerous Purdue team who still has room to move up. As you will see along this three line, all of these teams actually have space to move up in the future. Then UConn suffered the close loss to Villanova. They're either locked into this four seed or they could drop to a five seed, depending on where the committee thinks that they are at, but we'll just have to see. Finally, we've got the East region with Kentucky as the one seed. They will maintain this one seed, certainly, if they win the SEC championship. If not, it will probably go to Auburn or a second Big 12 team if Kansas is able to win. Speaking of Kansas, they are the number two seed in this region and the number one overall two seed at the five overall seed. And we've got UCLA, who has a great opportunity against Arizona, the number two overall seed, as aforementioned. So we'll see what UCLA can do there in the Pac-12 final. And finally, Illinois rounds out the four seeds from Big Ten, despite their loss in the tournament. Then we go to the bubble scenario, and we've got Iowa State in the last four buys. Again, these teams on the last four buys are probably in the tournament already as most of them do not have even a loss to take here, so Iowa State probably safe. Same thing with Michigan, who lost to the third overall team here, Indiana, who is still alive in that Big Ten tournament, and wow, have they played their way off of the bubble with some spectacular performance this week. Miami, a lot of people have them safer than I do, but I still think that Miami is closer to the bubble than many people think, although I do think that they are safe within the tournament bracket here after their close loss to Duke. Then Notre Dame starts out the last four in despite their loss in the ACC tournament to a good Virginia Tech team who has played their way into the field. Texas A&M is also a team that I believe has played their way into the field. They're probably a lock just because a loss to a good Arkansas team will not hurt them that much. That being said, a team that can fall with a loss is SMU with two rounds left to go in the American Conference Tournament. We'll see what they are able to do there. A bad loss could put them on the wrong side of the bracket. Of course, this is an improper science, and we do not know about any bid thieves, particularly in the A-10, so we'll have to see about that as well. Then we've got Oklahoma rounding out the last four in. Then North Texas is a team I'm going to call the first team out here. They have no work to do. They just got eliminated in the Conference USA tournament, and a lot of bracketologists do not have them even close to the bubble. I think they're a lot closer than people think. This is a very solid team. Next up, we've got VCU, who suffered a bad loss in that 
A to N quarterfinal. They're probably out now. And then we've got Xavier, who, of course, was able to choke in that first round of the Big East tournament. We covered that in our last Bracketology video. Same thing with Wake Forest, who suffered the brutal loss to number 13 seed Boston College. In the next four out category, and I'm afraid these teams, most of them, will not be able to make the tournament. Let's start with Wyoming. Suffered a loss in Mount West semifinal to number one seed of Boise, so I'm afraid it may be over for them. They're not completely out, but we'll see what happens with them. Then BYU has been trending down on this list for a while now as other teams continue to get good wins, but they are just sitting, sitting stagnant. And then Dayton moves on with a close win over UMass as the one seed in the A-10. They will play in their semi-final against St. Louis. And the winner of that will probably be a great bubble team as they'll be able to jump VCU and a bunch of these other teams. And finally, we've got UAB, who was able to seal their spot in the Conference USA Championship after a triple overtime win over Middle Tennessee State. Some teams you don't see on here that are not in the field. Rutgers. I do not think that's a team that's deserving of making the tournament, even though a lot of people do. I just don't think that Rutgers will. They've been trending down despite those four ranked wins in a row. And yes, that was a very impressive feat, but I do not think that their overall body of work is that of a tournament team. So that is where I'll leave it with this video. Please comment your predictions below and like and subscribe to the channel for more college basketball content.